Testimony resumes tomorrow in week two of the Christopher Clements retrial. He is charged with the disappearance and death of six year old Isabel Sellis, but his defense is making sure the jury has reason to doubt Clements is her killer, including bringing her father Sergio under suspicion. 13 News reporter JD Wallace is live downtown at Superior Court to explain why JD. Well, Dan, the defense told the jury last week during opening arguments that any suspicion of Isabel's father was reasonable doubt to acquit Clements, and the defense has been working to create that reasonable doubt, which is also its responsibility, according to a third party with defense expertise, but no involvement in this case. Sometimes as a defense attorney, you, you might get frustrated that a case is built entirely on circumstantial evidence, but um, as as the, the typical instruction states, that's that's valid evidence that the, the state is permitted to use. Criminal defense attorney Louis Fidel is not defending Christopher Clements, but the rules in Clements' murder trial are familiar to Fidel. A reasonable doubt uh, is the standard in a criminal case. The attorney for Christopher Clements is working to create doubt. Clements kidnapped and murdered six-year-old Isabel Sellis, who went missing from her bedroom April 21, 2012. Even though Clements led FBI agents to the girl's remains in 2017 in exchange for unrelated charges against him being dropped. It's not direct evidence that that person killed the, the victim, but they certainly uh, seem to have some knowledge about it, so it's more in that vein of circumstantial evidence. And the jury will not be told Clements is already serving a life sentence for the murder of 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez, who went missing in Tucson in June 2014, considered character evidence that does not pertain to the events of the Sellis case. The simplest example is that prosecutors are not supposed to bring in evidence that says that person is a bad guy, therefore he's guilty of this because he's a bad guy. That's not permitted. But the defense can create doubt by suggesting other people helped make the girl's murder possible. In this case, Isabel's father, Sergio, even though he's not on trial and has sat through details of his own daughter's remains being discovered in the desert. These are always hard cases, um, especially when, when there are children involved. Um, but when, when you represent a, a person, your job is to represent them, and, and you must do that. Um, th that's your ethical duty as a lawyer, is to represent the best interest of your client. The prosecutor is still calling witnesses and told the jury to expect from Clement's girlfriend at the time, who called the FBI for him in order for him to make a deal. The trial resumes tomorrow. Reporting live from downtown, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.